Well, you need spine surgery. What do you have to do to get ready? And what happens at the hospital? This video has been created to answer those questions. As you prepare for your journey, there's a lot of information to share with you, the patient, and the loved ones that will be providing you with care once you've returned home. First off, you can rest assured that you're being provided with the very best care available. The interdisciplinary team at Mercy Health Howenstein Neurosciences offers depth and background of experience and expertise that is unparalleled in the region. Prior to surgery, you may be asked to see your family doctor and specialist if needed. You may also need to be fitted for a brace. If so, you'll be asked to make an appointment at Mary Freeben Hospital. They're the experts we turn to, and they have locations in Grand Rapids, Holland, and Muskegon. Before your admission to the Neurofloor in the Howenstein Neuroscience Center, better known as H3, we suggest that you plan to be away from home for approximately three days. However, many patients stay only overnight. Your surgeon will discuss your expected length of stay before your surgery. We encourage you to plan ahead for your return home by following a few simple suggestions. Clear walkways in your house. Identify items in your home that you will need to be within reach. Prepare and freeze meals if possible. Install handrails as needed. Remove rugs and cords. Arrange for help with your pets at home. And arrange for transportation until you've been cleared to drive by your doctor. We also suggest that you have the following items at home prior to your discharge. Plenty of over-the-counter laxatives to help prevent constipation, as this is common when you take pain medication. And lots of fiber-rich foods and fluids. A day or so before your surgery, you'll receive a phone call from the pre-admission testing department. This person will confirm the time for you to arrive for your surgery. You'll also have a conversation about any medications you should take on the morning of your surgery. Remember that after midnight, you cannot have anything to eat or drink with the exception of water for pills if necessary. When you first arrive at Mercy Health St. Mary's, you will sign in at our automated sign-in station. Your pre-op nurse will meet you and your loved one and escort you into the pre-op area alone. Once in pre-op, there will be plenty to do. You'll get changed into a gown and answer a few confidential questions before your loved one joins you. It's your pre-op nurse's job to gather pertinent information, start your IV, have you sign consent forms, and take your vital signs. You'll be asked about past surgeries and past reactions to medication. We will be applying circulation socks and a warming blanket in preparation for surgery. We ask you to arrive with a written or typed list of medications you're taking, including dosages and frequencies, any personal items you desire. However, we encourage you to keep valuables at home, your CPAP machine if you use one, and your brace if you've picked it up. If you haven't picked it up, it'll be delivered to your room in H3. You'll also meet your anesthesiologist and your surgeon. Your anesthesiologist will give you an overview of your surgery. They'll conduct a medical assessment, listen to your heart and lungs, and check your teeth. You should be sure to let your anesthesiologist know if you've suffered any nausea or vomiting after previous surgeries. Your surgeon will mark the surgical area and answer questions. Once the anesthetic is administered, you may not remember all of the details, but you'll be wheeled off to surgery and your loved one will be escorted to the surgical waiting area. The surgical waiting area is where your loved one will be able to keep track of your progress using our state-of-the-art status board system. A secretary will be there to instruct them on how the system works and answer any questions they may have. Once surgery is complete, you'll be moved to the recovery area and your surgeon will take a moment to discuss your procedure with your loved one. You'll be in recovery for approximately an hour and then transfer to H3 where your loved one can rejoin you. Rooms in H3 are equipped with several technological features that help us help you. There's the bed alarm, a pressure-activated device that alerts staff if there's the risk of a fall. There's the call light if you need to request for your nurse to come to you. There's also a sofa in the room that accommodates one guest that may want to stay with you overnight. All of these amenities are in place to make your stay in the Howenstein Neuroscience Center as comfortable and as safe as possible. Nurses will take your vital signs every four hours for the next 24 hours. 
You'll be checked on hourly by our staff and provided with ice chips, pain medications, positioning assistance, and nurse-assisted restroom breaks. Spinal surgery patients aren't given their first meal until sometime the next morning after their surgery, but you will start with fluids like water or jello right after surgery. The nurse will work closely with you to manage pain and nausea. Some patients experience a puffy face and sore throat and may require a drain for proper incision care. You may also request ice bags and cooling blankets as part of pain management. Yes, there will be pain and discomfort at this point in your recovery. Pain management is important to us and that's why we work closely with you to develop your personal pain management plan. This plan is created with a goal of managing your pain well enough for you to participate in therapy, sleep, interact, and eat. We'll modify your personal pain management plan as needed during your stay in H3. A major component to every plan is to move, move, move. But we have to move smart. And that starts with the first time you climb out of bed using the log roll method. It's designed to reduce the amount of stress you place on your surgical area. To properly log roll, you start by laying on your back. Carefully roll onto your side and use your arms to support yourself as you move into the upright position. Another important step in the recovery process is using the spirometer. While it may look like a toy, the spirometer serves an important purpose in your recovery. It's a small device that the patient uses to increase lung strength and to prevent respiratory ailments like pneumonia. To properly use the spirometer, you put your lips around the mouthpiece and inhale. The goal is to keep the tiny ball inside the spirometer afloat for about five seconds at a time. The next step is just that, steps. This is a critical moment in the recovery process. Remember, rest isn't the best medicine after spinal surgery. Each day you're in the hospital, you will be encouraged to walk frequently. While this may present moments of discomfort, it'll provide that boost to the healing process. Walking eliminates the chance of blood clots, reduces constipation, helps prevent bed sores, and decreases pain. Your nurse will encourage you to get up and walk the halls with staff by your side. You'll walk at least three times each day you're in H3 until it's time to go home. On the day that you leave Mercy Health, you'll be wearing your brace and you may be sent home with a walker if necessary. You will still be on pain medication and you should arrange for a driver. Make sure you and your loved one are aware of your follow-up appointment dates and times, what diet you should follow, what medications you should take, and how to care for your incision. And don't forget to continue eating fiber-rich foods and fluids and taking over-the-counter laxatives as needed. Once you're home, activity is important for healing faster, but bending and lifting are no-nos. A loved one or caregiver should be with you for the first 24 to 48 hours after you're discharged. You'll wear your brace for 12 weeks following your surgery and should have a follow-up appointment with a specialist at approximately two weeks and six weeks after surgery. So there you have it. We hope this video provides you with the information you need to prepare for a smooth and speedy spinal surgery and recovery. At Mercy Health, we strive to provide you with the latest advances in spinal surgery with a compassionate focus on healing the mind, body, and spirit.